Two weeks ago, we learned about using scopes in Final Cut Pro, and last week we learned about correcting skin tones, and today we'll use that knowledge to learn how to create possibly the most commonly used color scheme in Hollywood, the teal and orange look. Okay guys, so I will assume you've already done some basic color grading to expand your dynamic range and get your exposure looking good. This tutorial will only focus on the mood of the shot through color. We'll press Command 6 to open up our color board. We'll click Color Wheels, and we're going to use the same technique we used last week, the color mask with HSL controls. We'll want to protect our subject's skin in the shot so their faces don't end up in off color, so we'll make a mask to isolate them by clicking and dragging on the skin. Don't worry about making a perfect selection here because we will fine-tune the shot using the HSL controls. Click view mask and start to play around with the hue, saturation, and luma controls to find a selection that puts the majority of your subject skin in white while keeping the background black. Depending on your shot, you may use one control more than the others. Just play around with them to find out what works best. Remember, these top triangles are for the range of that certain control and the bottom two are for feathering. Once you've made a good selection, we'll click view mask again to turn off the mask view. Next, we'll click outside so we can make changes to everything on the outside of our mask. Head up to the master wheel and we will push the color value towards the teal. I'll increase the saturation a tad and then we'll go to work on these ugly looking skin tones. Head down to the HSL controls, press inside so we can make adjustments to the inside of our mask, i.e. our skin tones, and we'll press command 7 to pull up our vector scope. We'll practice what we learned last week by cropping into our subject's skin, noticing his skin is not on the skin tone line, and we'll correct them by pushing the master wheel until the skin tones do match up. The skin tones also look a little oversaturated, so I'm going to drag down my saturation slider on the master wheel, and that looks pretty good. I want the shadows in my shot to look more natural, so the last thing we'll do is clean up our shadows by isolating them using the hue saturation curve. We'll head down to Luma versus Sat, which if you remember, Luma is referring to exposure or brightness. We'll click the dropper, drag the shadows in our image, head over to our curve and drag down the left side of the curve to remove the saturation from our shadows. Adjust this how you'd like based on the shot you're correcting. And there we have it, quick and easy. If you guys haven't checked out my recent videos on Final Cut Pro scopes and adjusting skin tones, check that out after this and consider subscribing if you want to improve your craft and learn some filmmaking tips and techniques. I will see you guys next week. Enjoy your weekend.